Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about sharpening my M9 bayonet. Now, this particular bayonet is out with me in the field all the time for years now, and I use it for all sorts of uses, some that it's intended for and right, many so. that it's not. And the one thing that ends up happening is it gets dull. And of course, I want to maintain it. It's an expensive blade. It's a blade that means something to me, multi-purpose, and uh, I don't want to waste a lot of the metal on it. And a lot of the standard sharpeners that are available on the market that are, let's say, inexpensive, tend to take off a lot of metal, and uh, that's not something that I wanted to do. So I always hesitated when it came to sharpening it. Uh, as far as the bayonet, I would use a whetstone, put somewhat of an edge on it, and just say, okay, well, that's good to go. And uh, a while back, I had reviewed this Wicked Edge sharpening system. It's put an amazing edge on uh, many of my blades. But unfortunately, when it came to thicker blades, like quarter-inch blades, like this bayonet, the setup that the Wicked Edge came with my initial one uh, basically wasn't handling anything that was a quarter-inch. And what luckily now, what Wicked Edge did is uh, they came out with this Generation 3 quarter-inch blade sharpener jaws. So let's get into some detail on how I utilized these new jaws to put an excellent edge, sharp edge, razor sharp edge, Wicked Edge on my M9 bayonet. The first thing that I had to do was basically replace the jaws with the current ones that were on my uh, Wicked Edge sharpener with the new ones that would accommodate the quarter inch blade. So fairly simple process, uh, just basically utilizing the tools that are already built in to this uh, Wicked Edge sharpener. And I was able to just pop out the two little uh, metal rods that were in there that basically hold the uh, jaws in place. Uh, just of course be careful to uh, preserve that little spring that's in there uh, that uh, separates the two jaws. And basically just by pinching them up on top, lifting them out straight, uh, you're pretty good to go. Put them down, they tend to uh, stay in place as long as you don't drop them. Be sure that the lever is in a fully open position. Now the newer jaws will come with the spring basically separated, but you'll see that there's two grooves on the inside of the jaws. Just be sure to line, uh, line up your spring in there, clip it in. You'll actually hear it clip on one side. And then basically I did the same exact thing with the other side, sand sandwiched them together and made sure that I heard that little click also so that the uh, spring actually stays affixed to both sides of the jaw. Now, once I had my jaws in place, the new jaws to handle the bayonet, it was basically business as usual. The uh, Wicked Edge Sharpener operated exactly the same as far as with my bayonet to make sure I was finding the right angle. I uh, put a little uh, edge on it with my marker, with my Sharpie, so that I made sure I was able to get the right degree. And it's something that uh, I go over in a lot more detail in my uh, initial Wicked Edge Sharpener review. So make sure you look for that on my uh, coachholder.com website if you want to find more specific detail and more of a tutorial on utilizing the Wicked Edge sharpening system. For the purposes of what I'm talking about today, I'm just going over this, these new jaws and of course getting an edge on my uh, bayonet. So I basically went ahead, started with the 400 grit and worked my way up with a few passes and uh, ended up going uh, to the 2200 grit. But uh, to be honest with you, I could have uh, pretty much stopped at 1200 for my purposes uh, from what I'm utilizing this blade for. But since I had the extra time and knew that I was going to be making this video for you, I uh, went ahead and uh, got it even sharper. Now, once I was done with approximately 10, maybe 15 minutes worth of work, as far as uh, using the uh, stones to sharpen the bayonet, I uh, could tell right away from the smoothness and the way that the, uh, the actual stones were moving that I had a pretty good edge on there. A lot of this comes with feel. Now that I have some practice over the last year of use, utilizing the system, you get a lot more familiar with it. You get a lot more comfortable with it. And with that comfort and experience comes more know-how, right? That's how we all learn. Uh, so I knew it was uh, feeling pretty good. And then once again, just grabbed a piece of paper, a little post-it note, went over it just for uh, proof of work, so to speak. And as usual, was ex extremely impressed with what the Wicked Edge system had to offer. So bottom line, if you're in a market for something to, try, uh, to sharpen your bayonets and thicker blades, quarter inch type blades, definitely take a look at these uh, new jaws uh, from uh, Wicked Edge. 
I know that there are a ton of different models on the Wicked Edge sharpening systems. Some of them even come with these uh, quarter inch uh, jaws as the standard. Uh, but if not, you could always buy them separately. And that way you can pretty much handle all assortment, uh, assortment of blades that you do uh, have in your home. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this information useful.